Uh, okay guys um so today i uh, will be looking at the, uh the tripods now i will be checking uh this is strength of material n6 from this test book i will ju be just explaining how to draw uh the tripods now so uh there we can start with the equal leg and then from there uh, the next video i will be explaining the the unequal legs um, so i uh, will just do the very same um example like this one so just take you step by step on how to draw uh the space diagram and the vector diagram and to determine uh this one so because here we said we have uh the leg uh, of a tripod at uh, each six meters long and are placed uh in uh placed to form a triangle of ABC and then uh, AB is equal to AC and um, which is 5 meters and BC is equal to 6 meters and then they say we need to determine graphically uh, the force in each uh, leg um, if the load is at is, uh, 50 um, 30 kilo newtons is lifted ne, by this tripod so and then we are given the scale so i will just take you on how to draw this thing so uh number one i uh, will need you to understand what is uh, a, a a tripod so a tripod is like the stand that uh it's used to lift uh the stand of um uh, stand of uh what you call of a camera yeah? uh, or video camera it's like this so if they say that this is a tripod it has always has three legs in them so it has a uh, a leg of a uh, a leg of b here and c right and then uh, this will be our point of it of o o becomes what the apex of it of this tripod so that's where they will place what the um the load this is going to be the load of an of 30 uh, kilonewtons so they want to lift this load of 30 kilonewtons using this tripod. So they say that these tripods, it makes a triangle of it, of AB. So that means this triangle here at the base, this one, let's say maybe uh, it's like the shadow uh, of it, of the, but then it's where the tripod will be standing. No? So they say that this triangle uh, of A, B, R, uh, and C. So, and then they given us the, uh, the dimensions, they say AB, it's equals to 5 meters. Uh, AB is equals to 5 meters uh, together with the AC. This one is, uh, is also 5 meters. So, these two are equal. And then uh, they say for B, uh, BC is equals to 6 uh, meters. No? So, uh, because this uh, tripod uh, it ha is of an equal leg, that means the leg from B to O, from A to O, from C to O, they are all 6 meters of uh, of length. So this is the true length of it, of B, uh, of A, of C, or, 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 or everything to O is 6 uh, meters. So now uh to draw our triangle so uh to draw the the, the 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 structure we need just a ruler uh maybe a compass and a, uh, and a protractor so uh first thing firstly we're going to draw a straight line uh, let's draw uh, a straight line here make sure that it's straight uh okay so this straight line is going to be x uh x of what x y ne? x x1 yeah like this so uh here uh, at any point now nah, you're going to draw at uh, a point uh, of it of d let's say going to draw just uh or you can just draw a straight line going up like this and then mark this point uh d we're going to start here at d so from d we have uh the uh what you call the distance from it from uh b a uh, c now nah? Here, uh, say BC at six uh, centimeters. That means D becomes at our point of um, it becomes a center line. Now, yeah? 
So if B is the center line, uh, remember we're using a scale of one centimeter uh, is equals to one meter. So that means here we're going to place it like this and have a uh, six like this. Six. So this is going to be B. This is going to be C, right? So this is what this uh, is the point of what of uh, of this line here of BC. And then from uh, B to C A and uh, A to C, it's at it's five meters. That means you can measure like this five meters now and make sure that from uh, C to A is five meters. Or you can take your compass to make sure that everything um, is measured correctly. So measure your compass like this. Uh, measure your five uh, centimeters now. So five centimeters like this, then you can place it here at uh, at B, and then mark here. This is the line of what this would be the point of A. Even here, you will still have what A like this. Same. So that means that this one is going to be the point of what of A, right? And then um, from there, uh, you have what you have the base of what of the tripod. And then we need to mark uh, this point of what of um, of uh, uh, what you call of O. So from O, uh, it's going to be what is going to be uh, six meters. So because uh, they say all these one are equal uh, in uh, in uh, the in their land, which is what which is six meters. So this one six like this, and then you're going to place it here. And mark here and also is going to be the same length which is this one so here you're going to have what uh, O1 right so then this uh, you can uh, combine your triangle uh, like this and also uh, like this one okay so then from here now we're going to draw a straight line again uh this is your top view right and then you're going to draw uh, uh the 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 side view or maybe we can say the front view or the side view so the side view is drawn in a Cartesian plane or in a line of a x2 now like this so then from here we're going to pro uh pro um going to just transport these lines this one and this one so we're going to just uh, draw our line of uh this is o one this is d we're using this one from the line of xx to x2 so uh then this one is going to be a again right so then from here um with d as your center line you're going to draw a line uh, or an arc from B, uh, from D to O, ne? like this. I'm going to place it like this and then draw just an arc. Ne? And then, now, uh, rem remember I said again from O, A to O, it's, at, it's uh, 6 meters. So, we're going to go back to our uh, ruler and measure six meters so when you measure this six meters you're going to place it at o at a and then you draw a line until it intercepted this arc that you drawn here so therefore this is going to be o now so that means this is the true length of it of a o now which is going to be this six meters going up but uh, at, at the top view, it was only this one, no? the true length of this. So then uh, you can have what the length of, or the length here yeah, of AO and also the length of OD, like this. No? So then uh, from here, now uh, we need to draw uh, the, the, the vector di uh, diagrams. So this is the space diagram. If the question says uh, draw the space, uh, the space diagram, you're going to draw something like this. 
and then if the question says uh, draw the vector diagram so sometimes they will just say def uh, determine everything in one question like this question said but then um if the question paper says draw the uh, the space diagram is going to be this one and then the vector diagram you're going to take it from here so then to draw the vector diagram now you're going to draw a straight line from o ne? uh, uh that's going to be perpendicular to a d so the straight line from o that's going to be perpendicular to a d um make sure that uh if your lines are perpendicular you can use your protractor so perpendicular lines should be making what 90 degrees so when you point it like this and then it's 90 degrees here then you can mark the line where you need to draw this one so yeah like this then you can mark it here so then you can be able to draw it this line here so on this line it's where we're going to put it our load so remember I said our load is what our load is 30 uh, kilo newtons then now we're going to use a, uh, a scale of a, a scale of one uh, centimeter is equals to 10 uh, kilo newton. So therefore, this one will be what will be three kilo uh, three centimeters. So you can place it here and measure your three centimeters. This is going to be three centimeters, right? So this uh, you can label this point uh, as uh, I can label it as la like they have labeled in, in uh, it in the um, uh, in in this example. But then, if you are uh, writing, maybe if it's in your exam, you can label uh, at anyhow. You can label using numbers. You can label using uh, any letters besides these letters that we are using here. But now on your example, they have wrote this line as what right? this line is L. So that means this is the L, right? So from here now, um, we uh, we need to draw uh, perpendicular lines or parallel lines from O D and parallel lines from O A, which are uh, a line parallel to O D will be something like this, right? But to make sure that the lines are it's exactly parallel to this one, you can take uh, this angle here it needs to be uh, the same angle as this one that will be formed here so you can just uh, take your compass so that your uh, your lines are sorry your protractor so to make sure that your lines are exactly uh, parallel you can measure the angle here which we can find it as at as 80 starting from this line yeah? this point and going this side is 80 therefore you can put it here and mark your 80 m right and then at this side you can also measure this side and then we call it as an um let's measure this line here yeah. then it's going to be 50 55 it's 6 57 now so if it's 57 now we're going to place it here and mark what and mark 57 there's five six seven here yeah. so then now you can just as can be easy to just draw this line like this now and then also this side you can just draw it this line like this so now uh this line is parallel to this this line is parallel to this one so that means this one is going to be a point of l this one is going to be a point of what? Of um, of M. Now, so now uh, because this is the true length, now that means this distance from this point to this one will be that de will determine your uh, your force that will be experienced on what on the uh, leg of O of A O. Now, then now you can measure this length um, like this. And then find out this length as uh, something like nine. Now, nah? so uh, it's nine. So it's going to be what you call uh, it's going to be nine uh, centimeters. Uh, sorry, nine 
kilonewtons. Né? So that means that your, your force here is going to be 9 um, kilonewtons. So if I'm measuring it correctly, let's, let's, let's just make sure that everything is correct. Now it's 8, yeah. So we have what? We have 8 kilonewtons. So this is the force of it that will be experienced here at what? Of uh, AO. No? And then uh, we can also measure this side. But then now this side is no longer the true length of it, of this B and C. So we need to make sure that uh, the the vectors, the vector diagram is drawn in what? In the true length of A. Uh, of B O A C O sorry A O and um and C O yeah? so because now this one represented this force of A O and then now this one it's D here so we need to shift our point to this side so that means uh this line of M O will give us the resultant uh force now. Yeah? Uh, and then we all know what a resultant force is. So from this point, now you take this uh, the, uh, this line or this measurement, and then you're going to place it here, now, and have this M1 here. So this M1, and then uh, now you can take what your ruler and measure. The line of uh, or the parallel, the line parallel to this one. So, uh, like this, we can win. But then I like to measure our line to be very uh, precise. But then uh, it's okay. We can say this is the parallel line, and also make sure that this one is parallel to this side. Uh, this one. So, but then uh, you can measure them like we, we measured here so that you make sure that the lines are uh, in the same line. So, then now we're going to have uh, your R and then your T. So, that means now this side, this is uh, uh, and this uh, this is equal sides no? of the triangle. So, that means this is an isosceles triangle. That means this line is equal to this side. So, then now you can measure this one. And then said this uh, it's 15 now so if it's 15 that means it's going to run that means this is a it's CO CO is going to be 15 kilonewton and then also this one is going to run this side is going to be 15 as well now it should be 15 as well because this one is uh, the same so that means uh, from B, O is equal to uh, 15 uh, as well. No? 15 kilonewton. So this is how you determine what are uh, the forces. So the forces here are uh, not on this. Uh, so they said the question was uh, asking to calculate the force that will be experienced in these uh, two or three lines or three legs when they are putting this force so that means you are calculating a o b o c o so these are your forces right i hope uh you 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 enjoyed and uh you get everything that you're doing here so this is the similar like the one that i was just explaining this Line. But then uh, if we can compare our answers here, it's 14, 14, and 7. So we got 15, 15, and 8. So that means uh, we are above with uh, 1. Yeah? So remember every time when you're doing uh, questions like this, you have a tolerance of plus or minus 2. So that means if your answer is more than 2 or less than 2, then the original one is still okay your answer is correct that means uh maybe there's something that shifted uh wrong in this one than the one that is here right thank you